Hey guys, Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three drills that you need to be doing as an infielder. Now, more so than any other position on the field, as an infielder, you need to break down individual components of fielding. If you just go to the field and you take 100 ground balls, you might you know, start to be so focused on your hands that you develop bad habits with your footwork or vice versa. And so I think it's very important, especially for young players, we need to break down individual components of fielding and then we piece it all together. That's what we're gonna focus on in today's video and in these three drills. Let's just get straight into it. This first drill I like to call shadow boxing for ball players. Now, if you're not familiar with boxing, what shadow boxing is, is it's basically when a boxer is alone by themselves with an imaginary opponent. They're not fighting in the ring against somebody that's in real life. They're fighting against an imaginary opponent and they're working on their combos without the distraction of someone else, you know, sparring back at them. And that's the approach that we're gonna take into this first drill. This first drill, we're gonna work on our footwork. We're gonna isolate our lower body, work on our footwork. Then our next drill, we're gonna work on our glove work. And then in the third and final drill, we're gonna piece it all together. So how does this work? Shadow boxing for ball players. This is a great drill, one of my favorites. You can do it anywhere. You can do it in your backyard, out at the field, your garage, whatever, even inside. You're gonna place a baseball in your glove, okay? Place it in the palm of your glove here, not in the pocket, because when we wanna field the baseball, we wanna make it as game-like as possible and field it with our glove open. So you're gonna put the ball right here. And all we're doing, just like shadow boxers would do, they're imagining an opponent, we're gonna imagine a ground ball being hit our way. So we're gonna simulate a game. We're gonna do our creep steps, pre-pitch creep steps. We're gonna get into a ready position. Boom, we're gonna act like the ball is hit right at us for the first one. So we're gonna get around the baseball. We're gonna focus on getting, presenting our glove early, getting it out front, right, left footwork, fielding the ball slightly on our glove side. Uh, you know, getting low to the ground with a flat back, fielding the baseball out in front. We're gonna work on all the good things that we wanna be doing when we're fielding. So you're gonna get into a fielding position, boom, act like you field the ball, and then we're actually gonna step through. We're gonna get a good four seam grip on the base, get to our throwing position. So that's it, you're gonna imagine different situations. You can even think about, okay, runner on first base here, nobody out, I'm at shortstop right now. This one I'm gonna practice turning a double play. All right, you can even do a little feed to an imaginary second baseman. Or you can do, you know, balls hit right at you like we just did. You can do balls hit this way and do forehands. You can do balls hit this way and do backhands and then get to your throwing position. But all we're doing, we're imagining, we're taking away the pressure of actually fielding a ground ball and we're really working on our good solid footwork. All right, so we just worked on our footwork. Now for this next drill, we're gonna work on our glove work. If you have a partner, I recommend you do this with a partner, not a wall. However, I realize, especially with it being the off season, that a lot of you guys are gonna be working out on your own, so I wanted to provide some examples that you can do with just a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball and a wall. Let's get into the drill. So this drill's been around for a long time. It's kind of an old school drill, and you've probably done it before. We're gonna start on both knees, and that way we're gonna get rid of our lower half. All we're working on is developing soft hands. So I recommend starting without a glove, bare hand, with just a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball works really well too. We're gonna to throw the ball off the wall in different locations and at different heights so that we can work on different hops, right? We don't want every single hop to be the exact same. And to be easy, we wanna challenge ourselves. okay? So we're gonna throw at different locations and we're gonna work on balls hit right at us, Balls hit to our forehand side and balls hit to our backhand side and we can even mix in some recovery plays where we purposely bobble the ball and then recover and get to a good solid throwing position. All right, so that very first drill really helped us dial in our footwork. Now we've got our soft hands going. Now this last drill, we're gonna put our glove on. We're still using the tennis ball in the wall or a partner if you have a partner available, but now we're actually gonna piece it all together. Now we're gonna work on those ground balls. Again, we wanna mix it up right at us, forehand, backhand, slow roller, whatever you can do 
uh, be resourceful, but now we're incorporating everything. Now we're getting into our ready position. We're incorporating our right left footwork for a right handed thrower. We're focusing on soft hands, good posture, and getting into that good solid throwing position. Put it all together now. there you have it. I hope you try out these infield drills and you become a better infielder because of it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and really quickly before you go, I want you to grab my free bat speed boosters workout. It's a 100% free workout that you can do over the course of the next 7 to 10 days and you are going to see drastic improvements in your bat speed. So all you have to do to grab it, 100% free, click on the link in the first comment down below. I'm going to leave a comment, I'll pin that comment, just click on that link. All I need is your email address, that way I know where to send this free Bat Speed Boosters workout. So go ahead and do that now. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you left me a like on it. Get in the comments section, let me know what you'd like to see in future videos on the channel. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're coming out with new baseball videos every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them. Until next time, I'm out. Yeah.